Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in my previous video, I will be doing a lot more Bill Burr today. Well, not a lot more. I think this is my last video for Bill Burr for the day. And I wanted to do uh, uh, the clip from his uh, last stand-up he did from Paper Tiger. is called, uh, he's obsessed with helicopters. And if you don't know, he's actually got the helicopter license as well. And he is actually does love helicopters quite a lot. And I believe I've seen this clip. I am sure I've seen it. I, I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. I am absolutely certain. But it's been a while. It's been quite some time since I watched it. So I don't quite remember where it goes. So without any delays, let's get to Bill Burr. He's obsessed with helicopters. So let's get to it. Let's do this. So... I figure, uh, I don't know if I'll do it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too selfish. I have no idea. Dude, I'm all over the fucking map. Do you know what I want to do right now? I actually want to learn how to fly a helicopter, man. I, I do. Really That's my latest thing. Oh, you know why it is? It's because I live in Los Angeles. Yeah, and it's an absolute clusterfuck. When you go in to land in that city, just look out the window and just look at the complete lack of planning. It's not, not even zoning laws. They'll build like a skyscraper next to a house next to a gun range, and then there's like a fucking daycare center, right? <laughs> <laughs> the city doesn't even work, doesn't even really when like everything that. else works. So God forbid the dollar collapses or some crazy shit happens. Where, where are you gonna go in a city like that? So you guys are all right out here in Atlanta, you know? You're all right. I don't know, maybe in Atlanta might be crazy. You're on the outskirts, you're fine. You're fine, you don't live in a desert. You slam your face in a bird bath, you're cool, right? <laughs> Drink that water for a good 30 days. LA, there's nowhere to go. That's why I love the helicopter. Dude, the helicopter is the ultimate fuck this, I'm out vehicle. <laughs> All you gotta do I've is assess this. the situation. Seen. Zombie coming up the street, fuck this. This looks safe. Yeah, da, 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 da. You just land. You can sit there hovering. Just sit there in a hover, watching everybody getting killed. Sitting up there eating cheese and crackers with the red stick, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so I told my wife I want to fly a helicopter, and she's just like, yeah, no. <laughs> I think he's good. Which it. I know that came from a place of love, but it still kind of annoyed me, right? Just that she said that shit, like, then I was just going to be like, oh, all right. <laughs> Thought I was going to get to do that, yeah, but Yeah, if she you know the relationship so. they have, is epic. <laughs> there goes that. Hey, what other dreams aren't I going to get to achieve? You're like, do you already know, or do you wait for me to ask? <laughs> I'm still gonna do it. I'm just not gonna tell her. I'm just gonna go out and do it. Pass the guy <laughs> And when I get my license, I'm not gonna tell her. I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna buy a white silk scarf and I'm just gonna hang it by a nail in the living room. <laughs> She's just gonna be like, what is that? What is that for? What, is that? what does that mean? That, someday you'll see. Someday you'll see when the shit hits the fan and you're freaking the fuck out and I'm taking branches off some unforeseen Helicopter? What is that? Shut the fuck up and get in! <laughs> it's been so long since I watched no. it. Oh. You guys think I'm bullshitting. I'm not. Mm. Serious. I'm 100% in on this. And ever since I got into it, I'm seeing helicopters everywhere. I never realized how many helicopters there were. Driving down the street like Henry Hill, looking up at them, you know? <laughs> Doing key bumps and shit. They're after me. What a guy. I'm seeing stories about them. It's just like that old advertising uh, anecdote, you know, when someone's like, I never realized how many mattresses, commercials there were out there until I needed a mattress. And then all of a sudden, they were all over the place. And then I bought a mattress, and then it all went away. It's the same shit. I saw this story down in Orange County, right? That's the Down in Orange County, California, this guy gave helicopter tours for 30 years. 30 years without incident. That. Hands the business off to his son. The American dream. I built it up for 30 years. Here you go, son. Make the family and the family name proud. All right, Dad, I love you. Right? This poor kid, five days in. He's supposed to give a tour to a couple. Only the dude shows up. The kid thought it was weird, but he's like, I need the money. I got to give him a tour. Right? I wanted so to he do takes the this guy up. Ten minutes into the tour, it's the dude fucking well. jumped out. <laughs> yeah. Five days in. Five days in from the balloons and the cake. We love you, son. Keep the family tree going. The traditional life. 
five fucking days later, this kid, he probably barely had the speech down. Just sitting there flying the helicopter. All right, if you look out the left side of the aircraft, that's Orange County. There's over 27 miles of beaches. Uh, put your seatbelt back on. 27 <laughs> miles of beaches. <laughs> Up every time. County in 1903. Sir, please don't open the door. Sir, what are you doing? Sir, no! Stop! 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 No! No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the oh, fuck? Oh, this is one of my favorite what the clips. Fuck? <laughs> fuck! Air traffic control. I don't know who's on this frequency, but you really need some kind of fucking help. <laughs> The sound chief does so as I read well. further into the story. Turns out the guy who jumped out, he was 61 years old, terminally ill. He was in pain every day. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with him, and he had had enough. At that point, that guy immediately became a hero in my world, right? You know what I love about him? Not only did he make the decision, he didn't go out like some pussy, pussy. right? <laughs> Handful of pills, watching a romantic comedy, <laughs> wrapped in an Afghan that Nana made. Fuck that. I went out like a man. Take me up in a chopper. I'm looking at the land I love, and then I'm jumping out like a superhero. I loved it. Yeah. This guy. This guy should have <coughs> been wearing a, part a of fucking cape. I thought he would. I can't imagine how elated he must have been on that helicopter ride up after finally, you know, just taking back control of his life. Like, fuck you, disease. Yeah, I decide. Fuck you, disease. You know, ripping tubes <laughs> out, gets a burger, shotguns a beer. Take me up in the chop. He probably had his fucking foot on the dashboard. You know, he's not even listening to this guy giving the tour, right? Over, over 27 miles of beaches. Put, put your seatbelt back on. Establishes the county and then. Hey, King, he does as well. Come on. What do you mean do his bit? It's part of the thing, it's part of the story. But here's the thing. Just cut it. I left out one small thing. There is one small thing. The guy fucking lived. Oh. Yeah. All the fucking yeah, they were, they were out over the ocean. 500 feet the up, you'd think that would be enough. So I'm yeah. thinking he must have gone in like Greg Louganis, like no splashes. <laughs> <laughs> but witnesses said it looked like a dummy was falling out of the air. So that sounds like a hell of an impact. <laughs> I think he accidentally did the most epic 500-foot belly flop in the history of jumping out of a helicopter, you know? Mm. But that didn't change what he was trying to do. <laughs> Where his heart was, I still love this guy. I just feel bad for him. Just on the way down, he's got to be thinking, three more seconds of pain, two more, two seconds. more seconds. Wow! <laughs> That's so special. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this God, kid so much. <laughs> it is my worst. It has a happy oh. ending, though. He later died at the hospital. <laughs> That's right. So here's to him. God bless him. I hope I have the ball someday. So that was actually Bill Burr obsessed with helicopters, plus uh, the helicopter story. It's in one massive clip. I didn't realize. I genuinely thought it was from Paper Tiger. That's why when he said he is going to do his license, I was like, hold on a second. He already has his license. Because during Paper Tiger, he had it. So I think this is one of the older ones. I've never seen this entire clip before. But I've seen them in two separate sections. But oh my god. The moment I realized it's the helicopter story coming up, I was just like, yes, it's one of my absolute favorite. I love that story so much. Probably because the way he enact everything is just so funny. I love Bill Burr, man. You don't understand. He is my absolute favorite. You don't understand how much I love Bill Burr. I've searched everything he does on when he goes to Joe Rogan, when he's having arguments with Neo on his podcast. Uh, it's just brilliant man, I love it, I hope you enjoyed it because I absolutely love this, I enjoyed it a lot more because when you're reacting to something you don't realise, you. I had a genuine reaction watching this every time, this is the same thing happens to me every time I watch it, it's just so funny, it's so brilliant, oh, oh so that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, if you did please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.